here. The stakeholders meeting was in line with Entebbe's vision to become a prosperous airport and a lake city with major emphasis on tourism. Development, growth and change can only happen when we want it. But we not just want it, we walk towards it. How do we attract people to eat in Entebbe? So, is it maybe the housing staff or airports could be in Entebbe? And when we, when we are talking growth, we must be so open to one another. Entebbe, which was Uganda's first colonial capital, is looking up to reviving its glory. The peninsula has more than five tourism sites, including the Entebbe Zamgula, a renowned Buganda Kingdom cultural site, the first parliament, which now houses Naro, the equator, among others. For some of our, you know, visitors, especially the internationals coming from Israel, without going to, to the old airport, it doesn't make too much sense to them coming to Uganda. So it's important that we map out our historical sites and we develop them and we are able to really make Entebbe shine. And it's not only the tourists. We in Uganda ourselves, we want nice places. We need clean areas. However, the private sector says most of these sites have a security control with no access that has hindered local tourism in the area. My concern and my submission was how does Uganda Tourism Board work with the security to make sure these places are accessible? I think I need to go back and talk to the new CDF so that we can be able to move forward. But the former CDF had agreed. In enabling quick transport, the private sector has asked the government to link Entebbe to its outskirts in order to create a traffic-free city. We are surrounded by water mainly, but also we have Karangara, we have also Buaya, and I'm glad that now eventually we are going to get a, a bridge connecting Buaya. And if the road can continue, as the town clerk has said, to Mpiji, Oh, that's wonderful, because the tourists who will have stayed in Entebbe will now cross here and continue. Hotel owners also asked the Municipal Council and Uganda Revenue Authority to revise approach on taxing hotels and other businesses that are threatened with the closure due to high taxes levied as COVID-19-related effects continue to bite. Kamana Ivan Walnyolo, NTV in Entebbe.